This is Mr. here again for another video today, and we are back with our Vancouver Canucks franchise mode. And uh, in this one, we will be facing the uh, President's Trophy winning uh, <laughs> two time in the past, uh, what, like six seasons? Um, two time Stanley Cup champions, the uh, Pittsburgh. Penguins here for the Stanley Cup. We are here in the Stanley Cup final with the Vancouver Canucks. Yes, uh, that is a fact. I am very excited, very, very excited to get into this one. We've had quite a crazy run in the playoffs so far. Uh, in the first round, we played the Dallas Stars, and it was a pretty back-and-forth series. We had a 3-1 series lead. And then we, they came back to force a Game 7, and we won in Game 7. Uh, and then the uh, second round, it was against the Minnesota Wild, and we were down 3-0 uh, in the series, but we came back to win it in 7. And then, again, another uh, long series, but this time six games against the Sharks. We won the first game, or then, or sorry, we lost the first game, won the next three, lost game five, then won in game six, and we are here to play the 12 and four Pittsburgh Penguins. Uh, now, I don't know what their team is, is looking like, uh, but obviously uh, they, <laughs> they've only lost four games throughout the postseason, so they must be doing something right. Uh, and taking a look at the around the league, I looked at it quickly in the last episode. They've got some players up at the top, Crosby and Malkin, doing very good for them. Now, like I said, we'll take a look at uh, at the or at their uh, team in just a moment. But let's see their route to the final. So in round number one, they beat the uh, the Sabers in five games. And then in round number two, they beat the Flyers in five games. And in the conference final, after being down 2-0 in the series, they won four straight to make it to the Stanley Cup final again. Uh, but now to face Vancouver. Oh, man. Exciting times. It has been ten years since the last time the Canucks have made it out of the first round. And the last time they made it out of the first round... They made it to the final, so once again, we are here in the final 10 years later, hopefully to redeem ourselves. So taking a look at our team, this is what uh, what it looks like right now. We have to our, our top line is Chris Kreider, Bo Horvat, and Brock Besser. Um, our second line is Michael Ferland, Elias Pettersson, and Derek Brassard. Our third line is Sven Berchi, Adam Gaudet, and Tanner Pearson. And our fourth line is Jake Furtanen, Jay Beagle, and Tyler Mott. All the forwards are getting a plus one boost uh, to their overall, except for our fourth line is getting a plus three. So that's nice to see. And defensively, our top pair is Alex Edler and Tyson Berry. Our uh, second pair is Quinn Hughes with Tyler Myers. And our third pair is Jordy Ben with Troy Stetcher. And I gotta say... The acquisitions came up huge in the last episode, uh, or the free agent acquisitions. You guys got to take a look at that if you haven't already. But Tyson Berry, uh, we signed in free agency, and he's had an unreal season. He had 69, nice, uh, 69 nice points in uh, 82 games for us this season. He was one of the top defensemen in the league, uh, point-wise. And obviously, I am super pumped uh, to see how he continues to do with us because he's on a very good contract, being 6.3 for the next four years. And uh, so far, as a Canuck, he's been a great acquisition. Right now, he's leading our team in points with 24 points through the first uh, 20 games played. So that's pretty damn good. Um, now, uh, let's take a look at the goaltending, which the goaltending has been of question throughout the entire postseason so far. We started off with Thatcher Demko in net. He won uh, two of the first three games we played uh, against Dallas, and then he lost the next three. And so we went to game seven, and I decided to give the start to Jacob Marsh just because it might have been his last, uh, 
his last game as a Canuck. He ended up winning it for us and in convincing style. Uh, then we went back to Demko in the second round. We lost the first three games of the series against Minnesota. We switched to Markstrom, and we were undefeated uh, with Markstrom at that point. We So we headed to the conference final 5-0 um, with Markstrom in net, and uh, he still got a very good record, played 11 games, and has nine wins with a 937 save percentage and a 2.08 GAA. So... For the moment, we are going to keep Jacob Markstrom as the starting goaltender because uh, he deserves it. He really does. Cause, and I said it might be the last game that he plays as a Canuck because I don't see myself bringing him back this year. I think we'll be able to ha uh, have Demko as the full-time starter, but uh, obviously we'll wait to see when that time comes. So... Let's take a look at this team. Okay. Um, top line of Evgeny Malkin, who has 19 points in 16 games. Then uh, Sidney Crosby with 20 points in 16 games. And Jake Gensel with 14 points in 16 games. That is a ridiculous top line. That is unreal. Uh, the second line, Colin Wilson. He's got 8 points uh, with Alex Galchenyuk, 15 and Zach Aston Reese with nine. Brandon Tanev with ten, playing with B Jugs. He's got thirteen. Oh, and uh, Hornfist, who's got fourteen. The fourth line is Brian Rust with Jared McCann and Dominic Sima. So pretty good forward core defensively. Wow, this team literally ha like has not changed at all, which is crazy. Uh, Schultz playing with. Uh, Chris Letang, of course. Uh, then Marcus Pedersen with uh, Brian Dumoulin and Jack Johnson and Derek Pouliot is the bottom pair. Obviously, we traded uh, for Pouliot. Um, or we traded away Pouliot, sorry. And uh, Matt Murray and Tristan Jari are the goaltending, uh, or are the goaltenders. Let's see, how was Murray done? A 930 save percentage. So Matt Murray has been playing very, very well for us, or for them, sorry. But uh, let's go, guys. I guess it's time to get into it. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, man, I'm nervous. I don't even remember the last time I've gone for, or I've been in the Stanley Cup final with one of these teams. So very, very interesting. All right. Period number one of game number one in the Stanley Cup final. Jay Beagle and Brock Besser with the only two goals. Nice to see. Very good. We got outshot heavily that period. 17 shots for the Penguins, but Markstrom did not let any one of them go by him. So that is great to see. Great to see. <laughs> okay, second period now. All right, 4-1 for us. Pedersen and Horvat both on the power play. And then Malkin gets on the board for the Penguins. Still, though, 26 saves from uh, from Jacob Markstrom. And uh, we'll slow sim the third, of course. We're still getting outshot. And uh, we'd have to have quite the collapse to let something happen go in this game. But uh, it could happen. 5-on-4 power play for Vancouver. Didn't get one on it. Power play for Pittsburgh now. We killed it off. All right. So both uh, PK units doing well. Brian Dumoulin makes it a two-goal game with pretty or with a decent amount of time left. That's kind of terrifying. But we were able to close it out and a 38-save performance from Jacob Markstrom. Sick. Crosby with two assists. <laughs> Dumoulin with a goal. Why Dumoulin is uh, the first star, I do, or the second star, sorry, I don't know, but okay. Uh, another point there for uh, Tyson Berry. Absolute legend. All right, guys. Your Vancouver Canucks have a 1-0 series lead. Let's go. Second period of game number two, or sorry, first period of game number two, an early power play. And uh, we weren't able to convert on the power play. Uh, they got a power play right after us, actually. But uh, Crosby confirmed on it. And then Pedersen, Kreider, and Pearson with the goals for us. We head to the second period up by two. We 
We had a shot at them that period. 11 to 9. Not bad. Second period now. We are still up. 3 1. Shots are now even, though. Alright, alright. Let's slow sim the third. And obviously, uh, I didn't mention it, but you guys should know that since they are the President's Trophy winning team, they have home ice advantage. And uh, we could be going up. 2-0 in the series, heading back to Vancouver. Adam Gaudet makes it 4-1. Colin Wilson makes it 4-2. Will we have the exact same score as the last game? We will. So, in both games, it has been a 4-2 game for the Vancouver Canucks. Pearson, the first star with a goal and an assist. Gaudet with a goal and an assist as well. The second star, Jacob Marsham, with 25 saves. Not bad, not bad. All right, now I am getting really nervous. <laughs> we head back to Vancouver with a 2-0 series lead. Oh, man. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Let's go. Nothing else to do but simulate these games for now. Let's go. First period of Game 3, the first Stanley Cup final appearance, or st first Stanley Cup final game in Vancouver for or in 10 years, so... Let's see if we can make something happen here. Period one, we're up 2-1. All right, Bo Horvat and uh, Brock Besser with the goals. Wow, uh, Hornquist, what an answer by Hornquist, honestly. Literally four seconds later, after the Horvat goal, <laughs> that really must have deflated, deflated us for a bit there. But uh, we're getting a shot again, 14-10 to 10, uh, in favor of Pittsburgh. All right, second period now. Ooh, and the, for the first time in the series, we have a tie game. 3-3 three, three, heading into the third. We did not get a lot of shots that period. Uh, I think we had, like, nine shots. I think we only got, like, six shots that period. Yeesh, all right. But Gensel and McCann with the goals. And then Adam Gaudet gets, uh, gets us in a tie game again. Both of those goals are from terrible angles, by the way. Jacob Markstrom. Okay, let's slow sim the third now. 3-3 three, three tie. We are getting outshot heavily. Thank you, Jacob Marsham, for only allowing three on 37. Kreider, though, another free agent acquisition for the Canucks, and it is 4-3, but Evgeny Malkin ties the game. And uh, we might be heading to overtime. 41 shots for the Penguins. 28 seconds left, and we are heading to overtime in uh, in game number three. This could be a drastic goal. This could really change everything. We could have a 3-0 series lead, or we could have a 2-1 series lead. So let's see. Proud of us. We got like 13 shots that period, though, so that's pretty good. Okay. Let's slow sim the overtime frame. Power play early for Pittsburgh. Thank you, penalty killers. Okay, <laughs> Pittsburgh might hit 50 shots this game. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. Tyler Myers, another free agent acquisition for the Canucks, but it wasn't me that signed him to that contract. Let's go, your Vancouver Canucks have a 3-0 series lead in the Stanley Cup Final. Chris Kreider with a point on four of the five goals. Okay, oh yeesh, yeesh, oh yeesh, oh yeesh. <sighs> oh, I'm nervous, I'm nervous now. All right, let's sim up to the day of game four. And one thing I've been thinking about doing, and I think we're going to have to do it here. I, uh, I think we should give Alex Edler the captaincy. I think uh, I think he kind of deserves it. <laughs> Let's be real. He's been on this uh, Canucks team his entire career. Uh, who is our other assistant? We only have one assistant. What the hell? Uh, let's well, let's name another assistant right now. I didn't know that. I thought we had three assistants. Uh, we will go with who? Who will we go with? Actually, uh, uh, I mean we could go Pedersen. I think I'm going to give it to Barry. Yeah, okay. I don't, that was weird. I thought we had uh, three assistants. I didn't realize we only had uh, two. 
maybe I shouldn't have changed that. Maybe that'll for some somehow come back to bite me in the ass. But I think uh, Alex Edler should be the first Canuck to raise uh, the Stanley Cup. Uh, just because of how long he's been here. Unfortunately, there's some other players that definitely should be uh, holding it before him. But what can you do? All right, guys. Let's... Uh, Let's sim this game. Game number four in Vancouver. We can win the Stanley Cup in front of the Vancouver Canuck fans. Let's go. First period. We're up 3 nothing. Okay. Michael Furland, Quinn Hughes, and Brock Besser. Again, Furland, another free agent acquisition for Vancouver. Again, wasn't me, though. We are up 3 nothing as we head into the second period. Shots are 13 to 11 for Pittsburgh. All right. Second period now. Ooh, ooh that's terrifying. Two goals for Pittsburgh. Uh, their uh, second, uh, is actually, yeah, I believe that's their second line uh, in Wilson and Aston Reese. Shots are even at 24 apiece, but Furland also got his second of the game. And we have a two goal lead heading into. The third frame, Vancouver, 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 come on, baby, let's do it, let's do it, come on, we're so, so close, <laughs> ten minutes away from raising the first ever Stanley Cup in Vancouver, okay, we're gonna pause the sim, Brian Rust, oh my god, pause the sim, please, pause the sim, oh my god, Brian Rust score with 4.39 to go, there's a minute and 38 seconds left, in this game I'm gonna slow the sim down a little bit but it is a one goal game Pittsburgh could get on the board and tie it or Vancouver maybe an empty net or something 50 seconds left we are gonna hop in there and see what happens 24 seconds left let's go CPU versus CPU game Oh man, okay, let's uh, real quick, oh no, I don't want to change the controls, I want to change the camera settings, here we go. Let's go to, uh, to true, broad true Broadcast, just to see, just to see uh, everything happen uh, as it would in real life. Okay guys, your Vancouver Canucks are under 30 seconds away from winning their first ever Stanley Cup. I w did not imagine us to do this in year number two. Uh, not that it's for sure going to happen, but it definitely can happen. Let's see, 28 seconds left. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Let's see Tyler Myers with the puck, dumping it in. Yep, get it 200 feet away from our net. <laughs> Chris Letang now ent exiting the zone up to number 12. Who is that? Dominic Simon. A uh, six on five game. Now a big hit by, uh, I think that was Mott. 64. Dominic Simon with the puck. Takes a shot. But Jacob Markstrom covers it. And there's six seconds to go in this game. What a stash by Beagle. <laughs> oh my god, that is disgusting. Okay, six seconds to go. Oh, they're getting the Stanley Cup out. This could really, really be upsetting if they scored now. <laughs> Six seconds left. The fans there are looking at the cup like, oh my god, it can happen. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Six seconds. Five, four, just get rid of it, please. Two, one, Vancouver, baby. Vancouver is your 2020-2021 Stanley Cup champions. Jacob Markstrom is unreal. Oh my god. <laughs> Jacob Markstrom is insane. Elias Pettersson, Brock Besser, Bo Horvat, Quinn Hughes in his second season are going to be raising the Stanley Cup. Crosby, unfortunately, not getting his fourth cup, at least not yet. Oh my god. 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 Let's go. Let's go. 
Oh, uh, let's see. Who won the console? Like, it has to be Markstrom. Like, it has to be Markstrom. Um, I mean, Horvat led the team in points, but oh, I'm, I, I'm thinking at least he, it might have changed that game, but it's got to be Markstrom, right? Brandon Tanev, what a legend. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> All right, guys, let's see it. Who was taking home? The Con Smythe. Wow, it is it is Bo. Oh, it's Tyson Berry. Okay, Tyson Berry with 28 points. I'm surprised it's not Markstrom. I really am. But, you know, that's, uh, that's a pretty good season for Tyson Berry. First year as a Canuck, he's bringing in a Con Smythe. I can't complain about that. Unreal. All right, let's see it. Captain Alex Edler. Let's uh, let's see it, boys. Let's uh, let's see this Stanley Cup being raised in front of the Vancouver Canuck fans. Oh baby. Oh baby, Alex Edler. Oh man. And your Vancouver Canucks are the 2021 Stanley Cup champions. Oh, man, Alex Edler. Who's he going to give it to? Edler to... Is that Stetcher? <laughs> Alex Edler to... Uh, Tyler Myers. Okay. Sure, sure. <laughs> I mean, there's some older players he could have given it to, like Jay Beagle or Derek Broussard. Uh, but uh, there we go. Tyson Berry with it now. Obviously, he had an incredible season with us this year. He was over point per game, of course, so can't really complain about that. Tyson Berry is, uh, <laughs> is a Vancouver Canuck. I mean, that's like, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Let's see. Who's he give it to now? Jacob Markstrom, probably. And Markstrom, you 100% deserve this yeah Jacob Markstrom honestly kind of carried us to this Stanley Cup he really did again I'm really surprised he didn't win the Conn Smythe but there we go boys oh let's go your Vancouver Canucks are Stanley Cup champions let's go baby let's go absolutely unreal Oh my god. Elias Patterson with three assists that game. Michael Ferlin with two big goals. Big, big goals. Got, got us the game winner, of course. Wow. Wow. Oh wow. Man, as an old Canuck fan, I pray that happens one day. <laughs> I really do. Let's go and see what the. What, what what our players are looking like. 28 points for Pedersen and Barry. Absolutely unreal. 27 for Horvat. 24 Besser. Kreider with 19. Berchi 17. Broussard 15. Furland 14. Gaudet 13. 12 for Pearson. 10 for Tannen. 9 assists for Edler. Didn't get a goal. Uh, is he the only player that didn't get a goal? He is. He's the only player that didn't get a goal for us in... Uh, in the postseason. Interesting. Funnily, funny how that works. And I, although he was a plus 12, so I can't really complain. Oh my god. Actually, let's see the goals. Besser obviously had the most with 13. Then Pedersen with 12. 9 from Horvat and Kreider. 8 from Furland. Let's take a look at the goaltending. Let's see. Jacob Markstrom went 13 and 2. Maybe that's why he didn't win it, just because he didn't play uh, every game. Or a lot, or even more games, I guess. A 9.34 save percentage for Jacob Markstrom, and you know, I won't really. I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna bring him back or not. Like, I feel like I kind of have to. He just won us a damn Stanley Cup. Like, holy fuck! <laughs> Most wins went to Markstrom, of course. Uh, and he probably had the best stats. Corey Crawford, actually, with uh, 12 games played, a 9.41 and a 1.82. Unreal, unreal, unreal. Your Vancouver Canucks just swept the Pittsburgh Penguins 
in the Stanley Cup final. <laughs> oh my god. Let's advance a day, or advance a couple of days to see, or, or to have the confirmed awards. Vancouver, the Stanley Cup champions. All right, let's go and take a look at some awards. So I gotta, I gotta imagine we've got a couple. Uh, I would say we probably might have the Jack Adams, which I've never won before, so that'll be interesting to see. But uh, let's see, it's Stanley Cup champions. The Vancouver Canucks, Pittsburgh won the Presidents, and it was Vancouver versus Pittsburgh in the final. Nice individual awards. Alex Ovechkin gets another Art Ross. Nice. Leon Draisaitl with the heart. James Norris to Eric Carlson. Kind of upsetting we couldn't get it to Barry, although he had a tremendous season. Lady Bing also to Eric Carlson. Calder to Alex Nylander. Tyson Barry with the Conn Smythe, Carter Hart with the Vesna, William M. Jennings to Ben Bishop, Ben Harper <laughs> on the Maple Leafs wins the Masterton, Asterette, whoever the San Jose Sharks coach is, won the Jack Adams, Selkie to Kopitar, Ted Lindsay to Dreisaitl, and Maurice Richard to Ovi. Man, I wonder how the game figures out the Jack Adams because if you look at our team, we had 46 wins, and we are listed as a hopeful status team, and we just won the cup. Why did San Jose, or why did the San Jose coach get that done? Like, he literally had uh, less points than us. Less wins, less points. I don't understand that, <laughs> but okay. What can you do about it, I guess? Whew, wow. Wow. Okay. Well, that uh, that was quite the season. I must say, Nashville will be picking first overall this season. Interesting to see there. Whew, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Your Vancouver Canucks are Stanley Cup champions. And uh, that's going to be it for me in this episode, guys. Let's, uh, again, we're only in year two. It's not like we're five years down the road. Unfreaking real. We, uh, you know, come back for the next one to see what we do this off season to see uh, who we, uh, uh, to see if we're going to keep Markstrom, to see if we're going to be keeping Derek Broussard. He grew a little bit to see if we're going to be keeping Alex Edler, uh, Troy Stetcher, Josh Levo, Tyler Mott, Tanner Pearson, Jake Furtan, and uh, there's a lot of players that are going to be expiring for us. So, again, that will be it for me, guys, in this one. Hopefully you did enjoy seeing it. the Vancouver Canucks hoist the Stanley Cup. I will see you guys all in the next one. <laughs> Goodbye.